Hey, yo, check this out. This is Sway from the world-famous Wake Up Show with King Tech and DJ Revolution. And y'all about to view the mixtape on video. Coming to you live. Keep it back. Preview. Sixty-five years of age. I'm Santos Slavon. I'm seventy-one years old. And Walter Donowski, seventy-four years old. My name is Henry Comas. I'm sixty-five years old. We are distinguished citizens. Probably the average age of our club is probably sixty-four and sixty-three. It's a organization where we bring eclectic individuals, male, female, all races. Uh, over the age of 55 to come together uh, and play and provide community service. We get to play against other guys our age. We travel to different cities. It's really about competing and interference and being a warrior on the court, of course, but when the game is over, you know, you know, when the game is over. And, and you have respect and you have brothers. It's not just a group of individuals playing competitively, it's a fraternity of senior basketball players that come together and support each other. Not just physically, but also we support each other mentally and spiritually. I was playing with the younger guys and I felt I was getting older, and I knew there was organizations and leagues out there my age, and I like I would like to find out where they were. Sitting on the outside looking in, and you say, I can beat these guys, you know? And, you know, it doesn't actually happen until you get on the court. First to uh, a good friend of mine, Tony Green, from the City College of New York mentioned that there were older guys playing in Buffalo that they was around. And said, what do you mean? He's an older guy like us. You know, I was like, yeah, I'm kidding it. And the team that we traveled from New York was the New York Sugar Daddies. I mean, we never practiced. Uh, we were in the shape. You know, we knew each other, you know, from growing up in the community, but we had no idea what we were in store for. And um, that was my introduction to Masters Basketball. Well, I've been watching Lyle, like I said, for about seven years on and off. He's played in various tournaments. I started following him through Facebook, and I said, this is one of my, one of my bucket lists before. I get any older, at the age of 60, I will actually 59, 60, I want to get back in the gym. That's what I was looking for, 60, 65 and over. I called him and we got, you know, I got involved with his organization and I love it. We played in Atlantic City, in New Jersey, everywhere in New York. We're planning hopefully a trip to Costa Rica. We just found a way to, um get the information, have it centralized, people can go, they can see what's upcoming events, they can participate, they can take a look. But the key to this is that, what's very important is that once we come all together on the court, we're all the same person. We're basketball players. We're players. That whole cash system of who or what you are, or what you think you are, all goes away. We're basketball players and that's what we come together with. And I think that's the most important, one of the most important things the front court masters.
most that I enjoy is the interaction, not only with the players, the families, and supporters of the game, when we do the intergenerational events. We give back to the community by doing mentoring, uh, basketball, uh, drills for youth, um, uh, big brother aspects, uh, and it's been very successful. As much as possible, we try to do something with the team, young, young teams, and or the age 12 years of age or younger. Because uh, what kind of way do we have to uh, uh, connect to the community? What kind of way do we have to provide some type of service? If you ever go to any park during the day and you see a senior shooting by himself, or you see two or three seniors just shooting around, they want to play. They want to be engaged. You might have a senior in his couch right now doing nothing. He's the next ball player, play college ball, play high school ball. But he doesn't know who and where to go to. Front Course Masters is that tool to get them out of their homes, to help them to come healthy, to give them this, to that mental focus again, to get them out of their house. A lot of people after a certain age, oh, you can't play basketball, you can't do this, you can't do that. And when I go on the courts, right, and these kids are amazed sometimes at what they see I can do at my age. And a lot of them, and, and I feel honored and say, when I get your age, sir, I wish I was still playing ball. I hope I'm still playing ball. For us to be able to still compete and participate in competitive events at age 60, 65, 70 years old, it's a real blessing because at the end of the day, this is an adult supervised recreation. So we try to provide quality venues, quality uh, basketball, and quality social interaction. What we're trying to do is reach out to all the seniors, set this pool that we can come together. Our vision for the future is to continue to lay the foundation in terms of our regional and national events. And we want it to the point where these clubs or these chapters are self-sufficient. Uh, self where we don't actually have to physically go to the island. We don't have to physically go to Springfield. We don't have to physically go to uh, Atlantic City or any of the other uh, uh, sites that are on uh, our uh, annual schedule. Uh, just finding a way to partner with existing members who are like-minded that want to create these uh, interactive events for children and for seniors. And um, I'm very uh, uh, pleased with that.